This is Rich uh, 25 by 30 garage and uh, this is the intake carburetors and air cleaner for my 1956 Chrysler 300B. Look at this thing. And it is an oil bath, oil bath air cleaner. These are made by AC, so it's oil bath. Go on the inside, look at that delta wing on that air cleaner. It's almost a shame to have it uh, uh, hidden underneath the hood. So let me put the, I gotta put the camera down for a second so I can, uh, this air cleaner is pretty heavy so I can take it off of here. This air cleaner, uh, all right, put it back up. The air cleaner on, for this uh, setup is probably about, uh, at the minimum of 3,000 bucks. So this is a uh, Carter WCFB 2444S. This is a 1956 uh, Chrysler 300 and 1956 DeSoto Adventurer carburetor. Both of these carbs were actually from the Chrysler 300 and the uh, DeSoto Adventurer. So this is a 244S, this is a 2445S Carter WCFBs. Now, this carburetor, the only one that I've seen recently besides the one I bought uh, a 2417 was a 1955 300 carburetor went for a thousand bucks on eBay. Matter of fact, the, the, the two carbs, the intake and the linkage recently sold for 3,500 bucks on eBay. So I would, I would imagine this is probably at least, at least a minimum of 3,000 bucks. And, uh, so these were... This carburetor intake setup and all this stuff uh, basically propelled one of the cars like mine to 139 miles an hour on the flying mile at Day Daytona Beach in 1956. So if you can you imagine that, uh, that's how fast this car went in 1956 and went 139, almost 140 miles an hour. So and I also have an additional rear carb. Uh, I bought the package deal with the two rear carbs. Uh, thinking that I was going to trade somebody for a front carb and it never materialized. And about two years ago, this front carb appeared on eBay through my eBay notifications. And uh, I was able to score that carb for 150 bucks. Somebody put it on there for buy it now, 150 bucks. So obviously they didn't know what they had. And so, uh, so basically I have, I have the complete matching pair now, 244 and 2445. And then uh, on top of that, I'll show you the, uh, if it'll focus, IBK-4301C. This is a uh, 1956 Chrysler 300 dual point distributor. Let me move that dag dagnamic, come on. I'm going to move that clip out of the way. This is a 1956 300 dual point distributor. So there's no telling like how much, if I put this on eBay, how much that would go for. So yeah, again, Chrysler 300 part. And then uh, I have this. These are actually the, kind of the, the prized thing of the uh, early Hemi guys. These are Dodge truck manifolds. These aren't the regular Chrysler 300 manifolds. These are Dodge truck. And uh, you can see how much bigger the uh, the out out is on this thing better flowing beefier so i'm pretty gonna pretty much gonna put those on the car put the four bolt full bolt four bolt um, flange uh manifolds on my car but and of course i'm keeping myself cool today with the the, the national drink of texas i saw one of the other youtube channels making fun of our texas and our dr pepper so but well, I'm not a native Texan, but uh, I've kind of adopted the uh, tradition of uh, having the uh, Dr. Pepper. But there you have it. Isn't that sweet? So, yep. So, welcome to the uh, welcome to the early Hemi world. Rich 25 by 30 out.